Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Thursday. We got three bowl games on this college football slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my uh, betting links in the description below to get in on the action here. And um, yeah, we'll hop in it. Got some pretty good action today. Had some good games yesterday, too. Starting with Syracuse versus Minnesota. Minnesota opening up as a 10.5 point home favorite with the over under at 44.5. Syracuse coming into this matchup seven and five, six and six covering the spread. Minnesota eight and four, seven and five covering the spread. Uh, head to head, Minnesota is three and two. Uh, Syracuse is three and thirteen against the Big Ten. Zero oh and five covering in their last five games here. Uh, Sir- you know both teams have def- you know definitely have injuries here. Syracuse has some injuries. Um, Syracuse finished the season coming off. I'm sorry, Minnesota coming off a Wisconsin win to end their season. Syracuse coming off a Wisconsin win. Um, I'm not in love with the 10 and a half points. I think that's a lot. We've already seen double digit favorites so far in the bowl games, just not cover. So I'd still probably take a shot with Syracuse plus 10 and a half. But I do like Minnesota to win in this one. I think their offense and defense is better. They'll be able to run the ball a lot better. So I do like Minnesota to win, but I'd still probably take a shot with Syracuse plus 10.5. Next matchup, we got Oklahoma versus Florida State. Florida State opening up as a 10 point favorite with the over under at 65. Oklahoma come, finish the season 6 and 6, 4 and 8 covering the spread. Florida State 9 and 3, 8 and 4 covering the spread. Uh, head to head, Oklahoma is three and zero all time, but um, I mean, yeah, Oklahoma lost some people to a transfer portal. Florida State going to be getting a lot of their players. I mean, they got a lot of players that are playing here. Um, Oklahoma coming off that Texas Tech loss. Florida State finished the season on a five game winning streak. I mean, they were hot. They played very well this season. Had a great year. Four and one covering in their last five. 9-2 and two in December. I like Florida State. Here's another 10-point spread. 10-point spreads, I don't know. They're kind of rough here. Do what you want with the spreads here, but I'm going to roll with Florida State in this one. Then the last matchup, we got Texas versus Washington. Texas opening up as a 3-point road favorite with the over-under at 66. Texas finished the season 8-4. and 8-4 eight and four covering the spread. Washington 10-2. Seven and five covering the spread. Uh, but yeah, Texas, no Bajan Robinson. The star running back is out. Um, along with a long list of people, they got a lot of people out uh, for this game. Uh, but none really for Washington. They still have their great quarterback. Their offense is going to be great. Texas finished the season beating Baylor. Washington finished the season on a six game winning streak. I mean, they played very well the second half of the year. I like in Washington plus three and a half on the road or at home, whatever you want to say. But yeah, without Bajan Robinson, the run game is probably not going to be as great. Give me Washington plus three and a half in this one. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.